For this problem, we are required to determine the value of maximum deflection. Step number 1. Determine the value of reaction at point A and point B. By taking the summation of all moment at point B is equal to 0, by taking all clockwise moment as positive, RA times moment arm 5 minus yung 300 newton meter load para maging concentrated load 300 times length 2 at ang moment arm niyan ay 3 is equal to 0 therefore RA is equal to 360 newton by taking summation of all forces vertical is equal to 0 RA is 360 plus RB is equal to 300 times 2 Therefore, Rb is equal to 240 Newton. Step number 2. Sketch the elastic curve of the beam taking into account the boundary conditions. In this problem, zero displacement or zero deflection at point A and point B dial support yun. Step number 3. Use method of section to determine the bending moment M at an arbitrary distance X from the origin. Dapat yung distance x natin is up to the last segment ng beam kung saan nagkaroon ng change of loading. Take note, make all the loading continuous up to the last segment. Sa double integration method, kapag meron tayong uniformly distributed load or uniformly varying load, kailangan gawin natin siyang continuous hanggang sa distance x. Gawin natin continuous yung 300 newton per meter load hanggang sa distance x. Pero kapag nagdagdag tayo ng load, mababago na yung loading sa beam. Kaya dapat, kung ano yung dinagdag natin na load, is ibabawas din natin. Ngayon, lahat ng loading natin sa beam ay continuous na hanggang sa distance x. Mag-take tayo ng moment at distance x. Moment is equal to EIY double prime is equal to RA times moment arm. 360 ang moment arm niya ay X. Minus yung downward load na 300 newton per meter. I-multiply natin sa kanyang distance na X minus 1 para maging concentrated load. Ito yon. At ang moment arm niya ay X minus 1 over 2. Next naman is yung 300 newton per meter load na dinagdag natin. Times natin ng kanyang distance, x minus 3 para maging concentrated load. Ito yun. At ang moment arm niya hanggang distance x ay x minus 3 over 2. Step number 4. By integration, integrate the expression for m twice to obtain an expression for EIY. I-simplify ko lang yung moment equation or yung EIY double prime bago ko i-integrate. Equal yan sa 360x minus 150x minus 1 squared plus 150x minus 3 squared. Mas maganda na nakasimplify yung equation bago kayo mag-proceed sa integration para mas madali yung inyong maging solution. Kapag in-integrate natin ng isang beses yung moment equation, ang makukuha natin equation ay EIY prime. 360, ang integration ng x ay x squared over 2. Minus 150, ang integration ng x minus 1 squared is x minus 1 cubed over 3. Plus 150x minus 3 cubed over 3. Plus C1. Kapag sanay nyo nang ginagamit yung double integration method, pwede nyo isimplify yung constant habang nag integrate kayo. Or pwede din naman na after nyo nalang i-integrate. Ito ay 180. This one is 50. And this one is 50. Kapag in-integrate pa natin ulit ng isang beses yung EIY prime, ang ma-obtain natin equation is yung deflection equation or yung EIY. 
Yung integration ng unang term is 180x cubed over 3 or pwedeng isulat na natin agad na 60x cubed. Next naman is 50x minus 1 to the 4th over 4 plus 50x minus 3 4th over 4. Ang integration ng C1 ay C1x plus C2. Again, ito yung ating moment equation. Ito naman yung ating slope equation. Ito yung ating deflection equation. Step number 5. Evaluate the constants of integration from the boundary conditions. Dahil sa point A tayo nag-start ng x, when the value of x is equal to 0, ano alam natin sa point A? Walang deflection, so y is equal to 0. And when the value of x is equal to 5, or kapag nasa point B yung x, Ano alam natin sa point B, wala ulit deflection, so y is equal to 0. Ito na ngayon yung ating boundary condition na magagamit natin para makuha yung value ng C1 and C2. Yung unang boundary condition na gamitin natin is when the value of x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Using the deflection equation, when the value of x is 0 and y is 0, y is 0, x is 0, x0, kaso yung term na to is negative, so hindi siya included. Same as to this. x is 0. Therefore, c2 is equal to 0. Yung next boundary condition, when the value of x is 5, y is 0. Gamitin natin ulit yung deflection equation. 0, 60, palitan natin lahat ng x lang 5. Minus 50 over 4, 5 minus 1 to the 4th. Plus 50 over 4, 5 minus 3 to the 4th, plus C1 times 5. Then yung C2 is 0. Kapag kinalculator natin, yung value ng C1 na makukuha natin is negative 900 newton meter squared. Pinapahanap sa atin sa problem na to is yung value ng maximum deflection. Pero ang tanong, Sa ang point sa beam, mag occur yung maximum deflection. The answer is when the value of the slope is equal to 0. Kapag nag-drawing tayo ng tangent line sa lowest point ng elastic curve, horizontal line yung magagawa natin na tangent line. Or the value of y prime is equal to 0. So para malaman natin kung nasaan yung location ng maximum deflection, dapat sa point na yun, yung value ng slope is equal to 0. Meron tayo ditong tatlong segment. So, when the value of x is greater than 3, but less than 5, and when the value of x is greater than 1, and less than 3, and when the value of x is less than 1. First solution, let x is greater than 3 and less than to 5. At y prime is equal to 0, Ano yung value ng x? Using the slope equation, 0, 180x squared, minus 50x minus 1 cube, plus 50x minus 3 cube, minus C1, 900. Isa sa paraan para makuha na mabilis yung value ng x is using Shipsol function, but take note, cubic yung ating equation, so meron tatlong value ng x na maaring lumitaw kapag ginamit mo yung shift solve. At ang mga value ng x na nakuha ko is 7.58 meters and x is equal to 2.42 meters. Dahil hanggang 5 meters lang yung beam, therefore hindi valid yung answer na to. And yung x natin is between 3 to 5, hindi din valid yung answer na to. Magpaproceed tayo ngayon sa next segment ng beam. Para sa next segment ng beam, let x is greater than 1 but less than 3. So when the value of y prime is equal to 0, what is the value of x? Using the slope equation again, y prime is equal to 0, 180x squared minus 50x minus 1 cube plus 50 x minus 3 cube, then yung value ng C1 is negative 900.
Dahil between 1 to 3, yung segment na i-consider natin, ibig sabihin, yung term na to, whatever the value of x is, negative yung makukuha nating value sa loob ng parentheses. So, hindi siya kasali sa equation. Using shift solve again, the value of x is 2.40 meters. So, valid na ngayon yung answer natin kasi between 1 to 3 yung x na nakuha natin. Therefore, at x is equal to 2.40 meters, the value of y is maximum. EIY max is equal to 60. Palitan lang natin ng 2.4 lahat ng x. Minus 50 over 4. 2.4 minus 1 is 1.40 to the 4th. Plus 50 over 4. 2.40 minus 3. 4th. Plus C1x, C1 is 900 times 2.40 and C2 is 0. Hindi kasama yung term na to kapag kinumpute natin yung value ng y max kasi negative yung value sa loob ng parentheses. Isa din sa reason is because yung x natin is 2.40 meters only. Yung term na to, mag -e exist lang to once the value of x exceeds the value of 3 meters. Nandito sa segment na to yung location ng ating maximum deflection. Yung term na merong x minus 3, mag -e exist lang siya kapag yung x natin ay nag-exceed ng value na 3. Yun din yung isa sa reason kung bakit hindi kasama yung term na to sa ating equation. By computation, EIY max is equal to negative 1378.58 newton meter cube.